Hello, I'm Sari Cornwell, Technology Training Librarian with the Athens County Public Libraries with a tech tip for you. Today, I am here at the Amesville Locker Library virtually to share with you how you can use the library website to place items on hold and then choose your pickup location. Pickup locations include any of our seven branches or our four locker libraries. We have locker libraries in Amesville, New Marshfield, Shade and one coming soon in Stewart at the time of this recording. So let's get started. We're starting here at our website myacpl.org. At the time of this recording we are open for curbside service only. Now we are going to use the website to place books on hold and choose our pickup location. So first, I'm going over here at the top of the page and clicking on Log In. Now at the Log In page, I will be prompted to enter my login, which is my library card number, and my password. Now if you've forgotten your library card or your password or, or need to set up a password, you can call any of our seven library branches to get assistance. So I'm logging in and it says, hello, your name here. So today I am tech training. Now I'm going to start out by going here to advanced search. This will allow me to search our catalog for very specific items. So for me, I'm choosing to search by a particular author. And I've been reading Kristen Hanna books. So I'm looking for her in particular. And before I click on search, I'm coming down here to the section that says item type. And I'm going all the way here to the far right and clicking on print. This way, the results will show as items that are in print in our collection rather than items that are available digitally. So now I'll go ahead and click search. And our search results are going to show me where I did the search for Kristen Hanna. So her name is highlighted because I was searching by author. And when I look at these books, you can see uh, these are some large print, so it tells me what size the print is. Um, also down here, uh, I'd like to look at it says availability. So if it says no items available or checked out, I can still place a hold, or I can keep scrolling down to find something that is currently available. So here I've stopped on the book Home Front. And I can see here that it's available at multiple locations. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a hold on this particular book. Now the screen I'm brought to says confirm holds for your name here. So I'm placing a hold on home front. And now this is where I can choose my pickup location. So now on the list of pickup locations here, I can choose whether I want to have it picked up at one of the locker libraries or one of our seven branch locations. So in this case, I'm going to choose the Shade Locker Library. And I'm going to click on Confirm Hold. And we'll be brought to my screen where I can see my list of holds, the book Home Front, and then my pickup location is the Shade Locker Library. Now when this pickup is available, I will get either a phone call, text message, or email from the library, depending on my preference, to let me know that the book is available for me to pick up in my chosen location. Now I'm going to do one more search so I can show you another great way to use our search options for the catalog. And in this case, I'm going down here, instead of item type, I'm choosing collection. So say for example, I want to look for uh, a mystery, a large print mystery. And so here, where it has our collection, you can see that it has different books, audiobooks, as well as items that are in our library of things, such as hotspots or video games. And I'm looking for a large print mystery. It's in alphabetical order going from left to right. So here's mystery, and then I found mystery large print. So I'm going to click on that checkbox and so then I'm filtering and looking for just large print mysteries and I'm going up here and clicking on search. Now the results from my search will show up as the most relevant. I'm looking here on the right side of the screen. So say I'm a pretty avid mystery reader and I want to see what newest books are available. So I'm going to go down here to acquisition date and choose newest to oldest. That will resort my results 
and then it will show me uh, some of the newest books that may be available. So for example, this first book, if I look down here where it says the publisher, and then it says here in brackets 2021, then I know that this is a very relatively new book. And so when I'm going down through here, I can see that there are books currently available, um, or I can see uh, that there are books that may um, be on hold. Now, for example, um, this book here, it says Night Shift, and it says that there are no items available and one is checked out. I'm going to go ahead and place a hold because maybe I want this book in particular. So even though it's not currently available, you'll see that it says Priority 1 and Number of Holds 1. Um, so I'm actually number one on the list of holds. So when it becomes available, I will be able to pick it up at the location I choose. So in this case, I can choose a locker library. Or for example, if I live near Coolville, I will pick my preferred library branch as Coolville. And then when the book is ready for me to pick up, I'll get a phone call, text message, or email letting me know I can pick up the book at the Coolville library. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm my hold. And then we're brought to our hold screen where you can see the book Night Shift. And then we can see that I will be picking it up at the Coolville location. So if you have any questions about how to place books on hold or how to access your account online, or even about how to use our new locker library locations, you can contact our staff at any of our local branches uh, because we're here to help you. Thanks so much for watching.